we are going to screw these two boards together. And to do that, A, I want to set myself up for success whenever I go to drive or screw or do anything in construction. Meaning I want to set myself up so that I can employ proper body mechanics when at all possible, because in the long run, it's going to save my body and it's going to get me a better result. So for this, I have this table height positioned at a good height for me personally so that when I go to drive my screw, I can be positioned relatively directly over my screw, which is important because I want the direction of force to be going down through my impact driver into my screw straight into my pieces of wood. That is very different from being in this position. And now I have force going from my shoulder out in this direction to my elbow, through my wrist, and then down. So I have all of these horizontal vectors before I even get to my vertical vector. So I wanna position myself higher so that I have more vectors going in a vertical-ish direction that will translate into my impact driver and through my screw head. So when I go to start a screw, I'm going to position my screw on my bit first. That makes it easier for me rather than putting my screw down where I want it and then trying to find the screw head with my impact driver. So I'm going to attach them, then I'm gonna place it where I want it and now I'm gonna use my thumb and my forefinger as a bit of a guide to keep my screw straight while I'm starting it. And I'm not actually going to be touching the screw, but I'm using it and kind of my palm to keep everything in line. And now to get your screw started, you want to have heavy downward pressure on the impact driver, and then you wanna be light on the trigger and give it a couple of quick zaps. So that's going to look like this. So now I've started my screw and it's in there nicely. It's a little bit crooked, so I can just push it to make sure it's straight. And from here, I'm gonna move my supporting hand. I'm gonna line up my edges. In this case, I'm pretending that I want these edges flush with each other. And I'm going to be using heavy downward pressure with my supporting hand to keep the boards clamped together. This is very important because if I don't have this and I go to start screwing these boards together, as I hit the second board, this top board is gonna come up like this because the screw is literally going to be pushing the boards apart because there's not going to be anything, any resistance that is going to allow the screw to be able to go into the second board. So then I might end up with boards that are sitting like this. And we don't want that. So we want heavy downward pressure with our supporting hand. And as you notice, I'm coming up on my toes a little bit because I want even more of a direct line from my body through my impact driver into the screw going through my boards. So I'm still gonna be rather light on the trigger because it's gonna give me more control. So now I have two boards that are pretty well attached and my screw is just below flush with the surface, which is where you want them to end up. 